My name is Ryan Jackson. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about working with contractors and subcontractors here in the state of Texas, how you can protect yourself from losing a bunch of money or getting ripped off. Most importantly, I would like for you to click like and subscribe down below. My name is Ryan Jackson, the rent is due. All right, so let's talk about contractors here in the state of Texas. I cannot tell you how many contractors have burnt me. It's terrible. These guys show up, they give you an estimate, put half down, and they disappear. That's how it was when I first got into this business. I had one guy, he was actually a murderer, believe it or not, take $6,000 for a slab of quartz. We argued via text message and phone call for a while. My investigation work with some help, we actually were able to determine where this guy lived and we turned it over to the police and the police said, you know, hey, how did you find this guy? And I said, we followed him home. They said, well, you shouldn't do that. This guy is a murderer and he's got a warrant for murder. The most amount of theft that I've had or shrink or however you want to call it in this industry, believe it or not, comes from people that sell granite. Okay. If you walk into a tile shop or to a granite slab shop and say, hey, I want to buy a slab, they won't sell it to you. And the reason why is because you don't have a truck and all this stuff, all the tools to handle it. They want to deal with people that deal with this on a daily basis, not just somebody that wants to pick it up. I mean, what's going to end up happening if you pick it up in the back of the truck, you have the wrong stuff, it's going to snap in half, then you're mad at them. So they don't even want to sell it to you unless you're like a granite contractor that's registered with them. Be cognizant of that. If you got somebody that's dirt cheap on granite, he's probably going to steal your money compared to everybody else. Go with somebody that can cut, that has references. I'm telling you, you got to make sure these people have references before you give them any money at all. I've had more money stolen from me on granite than anything. I also had a plumber steal $10,000 from me. You know, he said he did all this work and he didn't do it. And that's shame on me for not going to look at it and trusting him. You know, to this day, he still owes me money and did a really job and left the house open for a long time. The rain came underneath it. It almost destroyed this house. So you really got to be careful when you're dealing with these contractors. Let's talk about general contractors. I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack for this, but general contractors in this real estate business of buying these broke down, jacked up houses. Let me tell you how this works. If you can afford them, they're probably going to do a bad job. Okay. If you can't afford them, they're probably going to do a great job. If you can't afford them and they're going to do a great job, then you can't use them. And then you take the bait and you go with the guy that you can't afford and he does a terrible job. And then you got a product in a down market that you can't sell or you can't refinance because he did a terrible job. When you're getting into this, it's going to be hard to trust people. And I recommend that you only give them like maybe 30% or 20% of the job or do what I do. Just pay for the materials only, like straight up pay for the materials only. But once again, these granite guys, they got to go buy the slab and they, you can't pay directly to the slab company to buy these slabs. At least I haven't been able to. I'm at a point in my career right now where I have a guy I trust. I have no problems with it, but most of my product orders or my material orders come from Home Depot or Lowe's and we can do a call out order over the phone or we can order it online and have somebody go up there and pick it up. So you can protect yourself from that unless they steal your materials. But most of these guys, they got a check to earn. I recommend that you pay for the materials or let them go to Home Depot, pick up the materials, maybe go with them, see it through to help pick this stuff out. You know, just pay for it. Make sure it gets over to the job site. And when these guys are working and you're coming in and you're checking in on them and you can see that progress is happening. You know, if you owe somebody $10,000 for the complete job, you see half of it's done, pay them five grand, pay them the other five grand when they finish and make sure it's finished properly. I'm lucky right now that I have a pretty good crew. I mean, don't get me wrong. We have certain problems that we have to work out. You know, we just stay with them and coach them and try to point out their errors and develop a team. I mean, if you're going to do this full time, you really got to develop a team. And if you're just a one off and you go hire a GC, she might do a good or a terrible job for you. So there's a lot of trust issues that come in here and a lot of things that could be broken in the process. I get a lot of people say, Hey, Ryan, you know, you're really good at remodeling houses. Will you remodel my house? Hell no. Hell no. I am not interested in remodeling your house. Let me tell you why. It's because there's your way of liking things and there's my way of liking things. You might not like my ideas. You might not like the way the paint comes out. You might not like the color. You might not like the granite. You might not like the way it flows. I don't want to have to go back and forth with my painters, my crew to get it right and right. And you can be a Karen. I don't want to work for a Karen. I don't want to work for anybody but myself. So therefore I don't do commercial contracting. I just don't want to be a part of that. The last thing I want is some Karen doesn't like the way that my team either worked in their house or didn't like the way they parked in the grass or I don't know, just whatever some like, I don't want to put up with that because you're a Karen. You don't agree with the process. I've caught plumbers that are my plumbers smoking in houses. I sure don't want somebody smoking in your house. I don't want Modelo cans left all over your job site. So there's a lot of things that just isn't going to correlate well with your process and my process. So therefore, I don't even want to work for you. But when you're out here hiring a general contractor, be very cognizant. You need to get good referrals from these people. Like even to this day, I get people, hey, Ryan, have you ever used this guy? Yeah, don't use him. Hey, Ryan, have you ever used this guy? Yeah, he's great, but he's busy. Hey, Ryan, have you ever used this guy? He's backed up six months. You're going to run into these problems when you're dealing with general contractors. And the best advice I can give you, I know this sounds is just good luck. It really is.